For those not familiar with hard mode or Terraria, hard mode is a it's not like necessarily a mode. It's just a, the uh, a particular progression points in the game that is just called hard mode. You you don't choose hard mode when you like start a world. You you choose between like classic expert journey or master. Not but not exactly in that order, but you know. And then once you kill a spe specific boss, that and kind of enables hard mode. And, uh, yeah. And then the hard, hard mode is permanent. It'll just be like that. Got your unicorn and sold it to me. Okay. It is a sandstorm room. <laughs> also, th this mushroom farm kind of works. Look, look, look at that. I'm not too interested in just about everything going on over here. I want to get these mushrooms, this thing, but Mr. Asshole is out to get me. Got hit there, but thankfully my brain confusion sorted out. I find it kind of funny that my, my tiny mushroom farm actually, like, worked. This is the smallest mushroom farmer of all time, and I got four of them. I only need six. There's now a way to get both Crimson and Corruption in your world. Without, like, switching worlds. Oof. I just need one more mushroom. But unfortunately, there's a sandstorm, which is insanely annoying, because... That means underground desert enemies will spawn above ground. Just need one more mushroom. Yeah, there it is. Those those are just gonna keep spawning at like Okay, they don't actually hit that much. That was only a hundred. Not not as dangerous as I thought. Okay, one more vile mushroom and then we can we have enough. I still need rotten chunks though. Fifteen of those. How do you do it? You need to enable hard mode, and then you need seven gravestones, and then put them around the dryad, and then the dryad will start selling the opposite seed of what your current world is. So if you're crimson, it'll start sell selling corrupt seeds. If you're corruption, it'll start selling crimson seeds. It needs to be hard mode though, and you need seven gravestones next to the dryad. Pretty cool. Remember to hydrate. Yeah, it's pretty sick, actually. Okay. Uh, where am I going next? Kind of wanna... Crimson is annoying the over, over here. Uh, let's check the quest, I guess. Sky Lakes, uh, no. Like, absolutely not. <laughs> not in a hundred years. There's titanium nearby. Oh, it's right there. There's some mining speed. Still titanium nearby? Oh, it's right there. Okay. It's not a lot of it. <laughs> They're not that bad. Hey, a rock golem! It's Mr. One Shot. Those rock golems have a ranged attack that pretty much killed me in, like, one hit. Like, not even joking. Uh, 
ideally try to avoid those as much as possible <laughs> oh hello speaking of avoid okay Brutal demon huh I don't think I'm gonna fight the wall of flesh anymore would I want anything from that? I don't think so. I already got a Ranger Emblem. Not that I'm really using it. I'm actually gonna keep my Royal Gel on because of the Illuminant Slimes. Getting <laughs> one shot is bad for you. Definitely bad when uh, death is permanent. I would say. Alright, need to gather more crystal shards. <laughs> Scribbles in notebook. <laughs> Titanium nearby, right there, I see it. Uh, let's use that scare bomb here. Hopefully, don't get lava drop my head. Scare bombs are pretty awesome. Watch out for these bats. Holy shit. Yeah, uh. That could have been death. I saw that skeleton coming, but I, I was really trying to kill the bat. It didn't quite manage to do so. Okay, we're making titanium armor. Just need a helmet now. I think it was 13 bars for the for the helmet. Let me just check how many I have. Four. So we really don't need much titanium. We're actually almost ready for twins. This has gone by pretty quick. We're gonna kill twins several times. Twins is souls of light, yes. Six souls of lights per summon. Thought that was a mimic for a second. Also want as many crystal shards as possible. Crystal bullets will be used for a long time. Hey, armor polish. <laughs> Dude, I'm getting so lucky with those drops. Kind of absurd, actually. Like, I almost have the Onk. Or the Onk charm, rather. Onk doesn't quite do what you would think in this game. It just, pr it just pr protects you from a couple of debuffs. Thing is, you can attach it to your shield and get an Onk shield. Oh, watch out, Chaos Elemental. Oh, watch out, Buddha Demon. Hmm. Okay, don't need to worry about slimes. Bats. Definitely worry about bats, though. Too many bats. Too many bats. Uh, of course the fucking Buddha Demon is coming from as well. Um, I'm just gonna do this and then like block it off. 
Wall of Flesh wants to know your location. Pretty much. Okay, that kind of scared me for some reason. Should probably remove this, huh? Medusa! Uh-oh. 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 Bats. Help. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of those teleports. Get used to it. <laughs> Aluminum bats teleporting ability? Okay, Zayden. Uh, probably time to get some crystal bullets. Hey, that should be enough for the helm. I think I'm gonna make melee helm. It's so much defense. With the hallowed armor, I'm gonna make both, because... Um, yeah. Cell phone too. I'm actually only one item away from the cell phone, so if I get it, then yes. <laughs> kind of doing like a cell phone speed run, and which is pretty funny. All right, titanium armor. Um, this set bonus has been changed. Uh, the old set bonus was given to the hallowed armor set. So Hallowed Armor is now really, really good. It used to be, like, not that great. Now you really, really want it. Alright, let's get some Crystal Bullets. Oh, I don't have enough shards for that. For all these. That's fine. I'll, I'll just craft as many as I can. That'll do. <laughs> Shroomite digging claws, yeah. I, I do like the digging claws. Big fan. They can go burr. Um, I am gonna build this platform a bit more. Don't love this hill over here. I might blow it up. This could actually get in my way. Probably should have made my house slightly taller. I think I usually do... Um, five stories. So here's the set bonus of... Um... This... <laughs> Words... Where's the dynamite out? Can't say blow it up and then not blow it up. Yeah, this platform should actually be higher up. Hmm. I 
mean, it's kind of fine, honestly. And I would like to get the uh, worm scarf before I fight the twins. Twins is definitely not a DPS check, so the uh, destroyer is going to be because I'm not going to get the storm bow. So the destroyer, we will need some DPS for that. I actually had a pretty big problem killing Destroyer on my playthrough that I just did off stream. Um, I spent a very long time trying to kill Destroyer because I just couldn't kill him in time. I, I really didn't want to use the Stormbow because it takes a long time to get it. Cheese him or he cheeses you. I figured out a good way to kill him. I feel pretty comfortable with that with that fight. That being said though, his head does like 400 damage. Mickey. Where's Pinky? Hey Spinky. Hey Pinky, you're dead. I don't want your kill. I'll keep it anyway. <laughs> I need to go up here. This is extremely unusual. I've never built like my platform this way. <laughs> Freaking bouncy. Dude, pink gel is such a meme. Makes everything bouncy. Bouncy dynamites, just what I always wanted. I'd really like to throw in a twins fight before the end of the stream. Pounce the grenade so you can trick shot. Trees grow faster now than the last time I like paid attention to how fast trees grew. That didn't really make any sense. Did it? I'm just gonna chop down these trees as well. Chief <laughs> Moon Lord. We'll get there, hopefully. Maybe we won't actually, because I'll just die. Oh, 
don't know, I'm feeling pretty comfortable, like, feeling pretty confident with this playthrough. That being said, um, could very easily die. To many, many different things. Um, don't trash the wood. <laughs> just spent all that time dropping wood and then just immediately trash it. Oh, whoa, whoa, hello. That's unusual. <laughs> Another Philosopher's Zone. That's actually really unusual. I'm actually gonna get rid of these walls because of that. Because that's, uh, uh, that's what caused that. I wouldn't want to, want to mimic to just start e eating my face during a boss fight. Oh, it's actually a decent fishing spot right here. <laughs> In the hell. So probably didn't need to do that. Water dupe. Oh well, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, let's go check out the corruption. There's our last mushroom that we needed. Now we just need run chunks. Need 15 in total. It's not a dark shard. Uh, run chunks are actually pretty hard to get in hard mode. <laughs> Fucking mushrooms. I like how mushrooms just fall from the sky. It's because I have a mushroom biome up, up there. Now I don't really want corruption like everywhere. So I might spread some halo to like try and stop it. I wonder if I fished here, would I get Ebonkoi? Let me just quickly check information about corruption in layer. Yeah, I mean it seems like that would work. That is 300 blocks, right? Kind of doesn't look like it. That's a button trunk. I believe I have two at the base. All your base are belong to us. Hello. Also need to get more crystal shards. We're gonna be doing a lot of crystal shard farming. Probably should set up like some sort of simple crystal shard farm. Yeah, that, that, that should be 300. I think. Should probably do some fishing while I let like the imp kill some enemies. 
There's another one. We need 15. I do like that you can make both now in the same world without having to switch world. I like that a lot, actually. Another blindfold. Apparently we're getting 100,000 of those same things. More dark shards. Yeah, this is taking quite a while because it's a desert. The reason I put all that, uh, all this in the desert is because I wasn't sure if the crimson would overlap with the other desert because I needed dark shards. Hey, there we go. We'll get to that. Master for the body. I mean, I've, I've done that already, but like... I mean, I haven't, haven't completed it. Kinda wants the corruption to spread over here. We'll get back to for the way. For sure. Got four rotten chunks. Let me actually go and get my rotten chunks just so I know how many I have. Yeah, two. Need 15 of those. Yeah, already hard mode. Trying to get the worm scarf right now. Fortunately, spawning a lot of mummies. Um, could make a battle potion. No, I made... Oh, Jesus Christ. The mushroom biome is... You can actually make the opposite... Um... Evil. Now. Using... If you put the dryad in the graveyard biome... During hard mode, it'll sell you the opposite seed. Only works in hard mode, though. So... You can actually just get... both now. Which is pretty cool. I'm gonna do this. Spread faster! Maybe I should wait a little bit for the spread before I do this. I still need to get more, like... Okay, we, we can do this later. I still need to get more stuff. Cured 100% of the world. <laughs> I have Cthulhu who dropped both evil seeds. <laughs> really? I actually didn't know that. That's interesting. So we need more ichor. Actually, I think we're good on ichor. 
gonna double check. Now we need two marker and then a bunch of souls of knights. And then book in a bookcase. I think it was 15 souls of knights. Also need some more. Well, I have enough souls of light for the summon. You need, need to get a bookcase, so let's see that. I always grab mushrooms when you see them, because mushrooms are actually pretty limited. Yeah, I gotta get the golden shower. There we go, 10 books. Um, sawmill. Go to the bookcase and just plop that down. You, you can have a bookcase. There you go. You're welcome. Hello, I'm beginner of retired. Don't know what to do. Just got done exploring caves and caves and tried to find an altar. Find a fight. I have Cthulhu but can't find one. Really? There should be lots of little altars around. They look like... Um, They don't look like uh, demon altars. Instead, they're like crimson altars. They're like red looking. Have you explored all the crimson caves? Because. I mean, I've never seen a world spawn without altars. There should be tons of them. I just want to mention that I'm still blind on for the worthy mode, so just so you know, don't spoil too much about for the worthy. Um, can't think right now. Right, I was gonna go... Primarily need to farm souls. Some Icar crystal shards. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll find more Icars. Don't really want to deal with that guy. See? It's one right there. Do need more souls of night. Rune wizard. Watch out, this guy hurts like crazy. This is extremely dangerous. But so I'm playing uh, for the worthy hardcore blind because that's a good idea right not knowing anything about it Nice to be able to do, do damage now. <laughs> Beginning of hard mode is always rough. 
But now we're doing some good damage with the Onyx Blaster. This weapon was nerfed even, and it's still really good. Yeah, I've, I've beaten the Deer Clops. Uh, not on this playthrough, though. Oh. That actually didn't do much damage, I guess because of my set bonus. I actually don't know how much this set bonus helps. It doesn't say in the tooltip. One day I'll do like an all boss uh, hardcore playthrough. Um, oops. Are my crystal sh are my shards doing that? Like the ones around me? Is that what killed them? Boss, I'm skipping. I'm skipping. I mean, I've skipped Dare Claps. I'm skipping Betsy. Skipping Fish Run. Skipping Queen Slime. Skipping Emperor's Light. I think that's the bosses I'm skipping. And also, like, events. I th think I would include events with um, all boss hardcore. So, like, Frost Moon and Pumpkin Moon. And I would do it at like the appropriate time. I wouldn't just wait until I've killed Moonlord and then go do Deer Clops. Because that would be stupid. I thought about doing uh, Fish Run like really, really early. Like before any mech bosses. Um, that's still a possibility. I mean, not on this playthrough, but. I'm gonna need to, like, get more used to that fight first. Before I decide to do something like that. Yeah, that, that was very smart. These herplings are crazy, man. Out to get you. Sometimes the imp just goes crazy and goes like machine gun. It's kind of weird. I also want to do like class specific playthroughs. I think next is probably going to be, I mean, other than for the worthy mode, which is probably next. I'm going to try that again. I mean, I never expect to beat for the worthy hardcore. When I play that, I, I play it expecting to, like, literally never beat it. I assume someone has done it by now. Someone probably did it very early. But next is probably like uh, archery playthrough. Probably after that, maybe magic. Summoner. Probably melee is the hardest. I feel like. Not sure about that though. Welcome back. How's the progress? We are doing well. Just farming some stuff right now, getting ready for twins fights. Okay, we are done with Souls of Knights. 
I need more crystal shards, I need more source of light, and not really source of light actually, but it would be nice to get more. Decided to get the shield. I've been very lucky with the drops, so I might. Oh shit, well... Okay. Alright. Wow. This is gonna be interesting. Endurance potions. Hunter potions. Seafood dinners. Um, heart reach. Well, this is dangerous. Mm -hmm. The pirate captain has an attack that does like 500 damage, buddy. cannonball thing. Not doing like any fucking damage to these guys. Walk the plank. Yeah, it's gonna take a while. So, rain events, we've already gotten both pirates and the prime spawn. Hey, there's tin nearby. Be nice if I had the golden shower already. Where's the boat? It doesn't spawn until like 50% cleared. Best way to get the floating islands? The best way was with a gravitation potion. They're pretty hard to find though. And if you want to make one, it requires fire blossom, which is in hell. bag as well. We'll pull one from that. You'll also need feathers, which is dropped from harpies. But you can just use a rope to get to high enough. Harpies don't spawn at the center of the world though. So you need to go off to the side. Up on the island. Um, luckily, cloud blocks now prevent fall damage.
we're, we're gonna be here for a while. Hey, we finally killed the pirate captain. I gotta deal with this fucking thing. I'm not sure if the cannonball does contact damage or if it's just the explosion. That hurts. Hey, another one. Great. That explosion is extremely dangerous, though. We're gonna get boats spawned soon. Which is really annoying. If this wasn't annoying enough already. Culture Prime. They actually did fix his explosions a little bit. I noticed that. Oh, the cannibal did, didn't actually reach there. I, I noticed that when I was playing. I don't remember what the change was though. But I remember I did get hit by the cannibals at one point when fighting Prime. Yeah, 600 damage cannibals. This could be over at any instant. It's gonna start spawning bo boats. I think it's about 50%, so it starts spawning boats. There's a cannonball. I would love to set up that banner. I also don't want to get myself killed, though. You can tank through it, it's fine. Put them in the hot bar, maybe I can set it up. Maybe the boats are slightly later than I thought. Yeah, that's good. There it goes. They're not really worth killing. Ah, uh, on fire. This is when the pirate animation starts being just a fucking nightmare. Right, you can do that. I didn't know if that's good. What if I just despawn you? Oh! Didn't expect a bunch of enemies to be there. I think I might die here. Just want to despawn this fucking thing. Hey. 
They spawn so frequently is the thing. It's only like at a certain percentage though. Like they're el eligible to spawn now and they just spawn like in instantly pretty much. So it's probably gonna respawn like pretty much immediately. I just don't have. I could do that, I guess. The thing is, the boat only gives 5%. Parrots, pretty much. Christ, man. Luckily, those cannonballs don't do as much as the fucking pirate cabin. I'm fully expecting to die here, just so you know. It, it could end so fast. Oh, shotgun. Yeah, the big blast disappears pretty quickly. But there's a bunch of other shots that continue. And I've got crystal bullets. What's the spawn rate of pirates? I mean to so and sound overly negative, but if I could, if I had to choose one piece of content in this game that I could remove, it would be this. Kind of don't see the purpose in the pirates, but okay. There's a, it's a lot of random shit in this game. That's what I'm pointing out that the pirates started at the morning and it's night now and days are 15 minutes in Toronto. Well, it's night in a minute. Why? Double job not working. Pirates are cool. Personally, I don't get pirates. That's just a preference thing, though. Yeah, cannonballs are... ...from Max C. Scratch my eye. Yeah, 
Yeah, getting uh, pirates this early is pretty rough. At least I have the Onyx Blaster. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, n nice freaking arrow rain there. Our arrows will blot out the sun, etc. Fuck off. There's so many archers, are you kidding me? I'm, I need to despawn these, it's, this is too dangerous. High upper sky islands, about like 50% between the, the uh, ground. 50 to 60% between the ground and the... Uh, um, What do you say? <laughs> the top? <laughs> Once this is over, I can look, I can show my map. Like, if you're making a bridge to try and find them, I don't recommend doing that. Under the map, yeah. World ceiling. That works too. Good amount of gold at least, or like a, a fair amount of gold at least. It's actually not that much gold. <laughs> Two more parts. Oh. Oh god. Actually, like genuinely surprised I didn't buy there. Entire golden bathtub. Well, that was scary. <laughs>